Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Unlocked, also known as Stolen Identity, a Korean thriller from 2023 that stars Chun Woo Hee. Now this is an adaptation of a Japanese novel, which was previously adapted into a Japanese movie called Stolen Identity, which was directed by Hideo Nakata and released back in 2018. Now, they call this film a re-adaptation, but practically speaking, it's a remake, right? Now, in preparation for this movie, I watched the Japanese film just a few days ago. And that movie was rather, like, schlocky, with some very uneven acting and a pretty lame villain. It was lacking in craftsmanship and overall filmmaking quality, basically, is, is, was the problem. And I may or may not review it in a separate video in the future. It is currently available to stream on viki.com if you're interested, but my advice would be to skip the Japanese version and go directly to this Korean adaptation, which is way better, in my opinion. So what's the plot synopsis for Unlocked? Basically, a woman's life is turned upside down when a dangerous man gets a hold of her cell phone and uses it to track her every move. Now, our protagonist here works as a marketer at a startup company, she's you know kind of like an office worker with a good uh, work ethic, and she's uh, you know on the verge of getting a promotion. One fateful day, she loses her smartphone. Okay, which happens quite a bit in real life actually, uh, but she's soon contacted by a man who found it, so he returns it to her under maybe slightly suspicious circumstances, but nevertheless. She gets her phone back, and since that time, her peaceful life has been threatened by various things. You know, and I won't get into too many specifics here. Meanwhile, there's like a subplot going on about a detective who's performing an investigation on a murder case involving a dead body that was found in like a remote mountain area. And then he finds clues that points to his son as the possible perpetrator, and this subplot eventually weaves its way into the main conflict. Now, there are like many things that elevate Unlocked above the Japanese adaptation Stolen Identity. First things first, the, this version does like a very good job of building an ominous feeling, you know, because it depicts unknown surveillance through cell phone cameras and data. And most people, I'd say most people nowadays, understand some of the risks involved with modern technology and information. And this film really digs into that danger and, like, that fear. It makes you not want to own a cell phone, <laughs> is basically what this movie will do to you. Uh, the manipulation tactics by the bad guy are well executed. Pretty realistic, I would say. I think most of the stuff he does in this movie probably could be done in real life. Um, the way he plays people against each other, too, is very interesting because he'll expose someone's private data... Uh, on their devices, like, to their friends, either on social media or whatever, you know, co-workers, whatever, and then, the, you know, there's things that maybe you don't want other people to know about, you know what I mean, and, and other people will know about it now, so that's, that causes problems. There is a connection involving, you know, that main detective on the serial killer case, of course, but that character was actually pretty interesting, because he's, he's morally ambiguous, you know, and it adds an extra dimension, because the, the cop... He's not a bad guy, but he's not a good guy either. And he has a personal vendetta with the villain of the film to the point of not caring much for police procedures nor the safety of the women who are possibly in danger from this, this bad guy. And the way he's looped into the story, not as contrived as it seems. When the movie started near the beginning, I'm like, oh, well, this is kind of a... I don't know about the writing in this. You know, it's kind of a big coincidence what's going on here, but... It's not as simple as it seems, and I like the way that they kind of in infused his subplot into the main plot and how it kind of concludes. I thought they did a really good job there. I was wondering if they would incorporate some of the same twists that they had in the Japanese version, especially during the final half hour of that film. I won't tell you if they did or didn't, just in case you saw the Japanese version you want to go into this one kind of fresh. But uh, I will say this, what they came up with, was better in this this version. It's important to note that Unlocked is kind of a slow burn thriller. All right, 
There's not a lot of big, like, set pieces or anything. But it does have some uh, very nice scenes of suspense and that sense, that ominous kind of uh, creepiness that they got going on. Performances are really good. Chun Wu Hee, fantastic in this, to no one's surprise. You know, she's not only a great actress, but she's consistent at picking good movies and good roles. And I've talked about her quite a bit on this channel, but, you know, I'm still at the stage where I will actively watch a movie just because she's in it. I don't need to know anything about the film at all. So that's a good thing. And that streak continues. Uh, the villain is the same actor who is the bad guy in Emergency Declaration, Im Shi Wan. This guy's kind of a younger actor, I think in his early 30s. But he seems to be earning a reputation at playing villains in recent years, and uh, he does a good job playing villains. He has, like, you know, uh, you know, good-looking, attractive dude I'm sure the ladies like a lot, but he has, like, this quiet menace to him. Like, he's good at acting kind of screwy, you know what I mean, in the head. He's just kind of whacked in the head a little bit, but he does it in kind of, like, a subtle way where you just feel like there's something freaking wrong with this dude. But uh, I, I like him in villain roles, and... I, it would be interesting to see if he continues on, like, this streak of bad guy characters. But he's growing on me for these roles, uh, especially. But I definitely recommend Unlocked. This is just a very good slow burn thriller. If you like Korean films like this, or you like the lead actress, I mean, you're going to watch this. And it's widely available. It's currently available on Netflix. So check it out. I think most people will like this. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.